An air terminal unit can be called either a VAV box or a CAV box, variable air volume or constant air volume, depending on your airflow. Um, these are utilized to control specific zones when you have a main air handling unit for a building and you would like individual zone control uh, for your temperatures, you will have an you will have air terminal units, such as a VAV box. Um, basic understanding of what a VAV box does is it gets main air from your main duct. There's your main duct, supply duct. It provides air into your terminal unit. Inside of that terminal unit, you have a modulating damper, which controls airflow. You have a heating coil that controls temperature. That heating coil can either be water, hot water, or it can be electric heating coil. And that will provide temperature control for the amount of air that you put through that VAV box. And then it goes out through ductwork into your space to cool it. Inside that space, you will have a thermostat. That thermostat is what controls your heating coil and your modulating damper depending on how your controls are set up. Understanding basics of how the VAV box is designed and selected, you will need to know your entering temperature, temperature entering. Uh, most of the time that will be 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Your temperature discharge will in a space that's being cooled will be 52, so your heating coil will not be used. But if you are in heating mode, you will need your heating coil to be operational and you will need a leaving temperature uh, around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want this, I mean, this temperature can be adjusted to however you feel um, is best represented for your design. If you, however, have a leaving temperature that is too hot, you will get stagnation airflow, and all of that flow will remain at the top of the room. All of that hot air will remain at the top of the room and then get returned back to your main air handling unit so that the occupiable space below doesn't get the heat that's needed to condition the space. So we, would like that leaving discharge temperature to be around 90 degrees so that the air does drop and recirculates. <clears throat> How to size your heating coil, depending on electric or water. Electric, you'll um, get with an electrical engineer to see what is available power-wise. Uh, hot water, that basically is comes from your boilers. So either this is an existing system or it is a system that you are planning to design. Typically you will see a 30 degree delta T on your water temperatures for how the coil is designed. Uh, 140 I see and then 30 degree delta would be 110. So you're supplying 140 degrees here. You got 52 degree air running across the coil. You're returning 110 degrees. That's a 30 degree delta T. Again, it all depends on your boilers. What is your boiler supplying? In this case, it's 140. And what is your boiler returning? In this case, it's 110. So these values can be um, received from looking at your boiler design conditions. And that is the basic understanding of a VAV box.